Black Girl Magic, a book about loving yourself just the way you are by Zara Bryan. Black Girl Magic. Hi, my name is Jamaica and I am magical. To all the little black girls out there, I want you to know that you are beautiful, smart, strong, worthy, and simply magical. My hope is that you will keep this book close to you and that it will remind you of how worthy and unique you are, especially in those moments when you have doubts. This is my story, Exo Zara. It was the first day of school and Kaylin was so excited and happy. She was going into second grade. She finally felt like the big girl her mom always said she was. After all, what would make her a big girl more than being in the elementary school? The big blue building across from the infant school that housed kindergarten and first grade. She felt so confident walking into her classroom with her sparkly pink rolling bag and notes with stickers in her pocket. Kaylin sat down at the desk that had the name tag marked Kaylin. She was brimming with excitement about what this school year would bring. Sitting next to her was a boy named Paolo. Paolo looked over at Kaylin and said, and don't you look like a baby? He then turned to Christopher and said, look who we're sitting next to, Miss Perfect Gray, Skinny Minnie. Where's the beauty in this class? <laughs> Both boys laughed. Kaylin was mortified. She started to cry and ran out in the hall so no one would see her tears. She couldn't wait for the school day to end. Her first day at school had turned out to be nothing like she imagined. As soon as the closing bell rang, Kaylin saw her mother's white Jeep compass pull up to the carpooling. She quickly ran outside, hopped in the car, and immediately broke down. Mom, am I worthy? She sobbed. Then she told her mom everything Paolo had said. Mom answered, yes, you are worthy. You are divinely made and you are magical. But no matter what her mom said, Kaylin did not feel worthy or divine. And she definitely didn't feel magical. She felt worthless hopeless and not good enough. She felt like there were a hundred worms crawling around in her stomach. No matter what mom said, it didn't stop the horrible feeling Kaylin was experiencing. Mom's words just couldn't change it. Kaylin was glad it was the weekend. She just wanted to be alone. Kaylin looked over at her bedside table and saw her furry pink unicorn journal. She pulled it onto her lap and started to write. Dear diary, is it true? Is it true what Paolo said? Is there anything good about me? Kaylin felt hopeless. Then she wrote, why? Why am I allowing someone to make me feel this way? I am better than that. Monday morning, as Kaylin got ready for school, she stood in front of her mirror as she brushed her kinky curly hair. Suddenly, she pulled out her journal and wrote, my hair is kinky and curly and soft and my skin is a milky chocolatey brown. My eyes are so round and full that my dad says they're like full moons. I am beautiful. Tuesday morning, she wrote, last year, my teacher told my mom that I am a very good student. I work hard at solving my math problems and I don't stop until I get them right. I am persistent. Wednesday morning, with a huge smile on her face, Kaylin wrote, a few weeks ago at my cousin Liam's birthday, he accidentally fell into the deep end of the pool. I jumped in and pulled him out. My grandmother says I'm a hero. I am brave. 
Thursday morning, Kaylin was excited about adding. Mom just gave me a telescope for doing my chores every single day for an entire month without anyone asking me to. I am responsible. Friday morning, she anxiously wrote, I always make sure to listen to my best friend, Emma, even when she says the craziest things. Well, I don't always agree with her, but I do listen so I know I am kind and respectful. Kayla knew it had been a good week for her. When she walked into the classroom, Paolo came up to her and asked, why are you smiling? Why do you look so happy? Kaylin responded, Paolo, I'm smiling because I'm beautiful, I'm persistent, I'm brave, I'm kind, I'm respectful, I am worthy, I am magical. The end.